Laylatul Qadri Khairun Min Alf Shah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome to this beautiful, amazing month of Ramadan A month filled with forgiveness, mercy, tranquility, beauty, kindness, generosity and so much more it is indeed a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillah, was salatu was salamu ala Rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. My brothers, my sisters, in the past year we've seen a lot of turbulence, turmoil, and loss. People have gone through hardship, difficulty, calamity, sickness, loss of life, and so much more. We take a look at the earthquake that just happened. So many lost their lives. Many have lost their properties. Many have lost their loved ones. People have lost limbs and they're injured. Thousands are actually injured. People have lost so much. Their lives have been turned upside down. You look at the floods earlier. People lost their lives also in a similar fashion. Their lives were turned upside down in a flash. In a moment, they got up and subhanAllah, it was never going to be the same again. Similarly, over the last few years, we've seen people losing what they were accustomed to. What we were used to was taken away from us in many cases. Some have been restored to what they were by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in the case of many, people are still looking for jobs. They are still short of income. People are struggling in their relationships where they've probably been through or are going through divorce. They've been threatened. Maybe they have access or no access to their children at times. They have problems with their siblings, their parents. People have issues with their communities and the list is endless. In fact, it is increasing as time passes. So much of hardship and turmoil, but Allah Almighty grants us opportunities to reconnect with Him, to rekindle that flame, to relive the hope and to continue in it by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, when we came onto this earth, what did we have? We had nothing. Our parents gave us a little bit and we grew up being filled, being filled with whatever our parents filled us with. What this means is, the Quran, the Hadith, explained to us how man was created. And at the same time, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says that everyone is born upon fitrah. Fitrah meaning they are born upon the nature, upon the clean nature of humankind, a brain that is completely ready to receive whatever comes to it. So over time, you will find that Parents and those around a child fill the brain and the system of the child in a way that it begins to consider normal whatever it is taught or accustomed to. And this is the reason why different parts of the world consider different things normal. Sometimes we would consider something normal that is absolutely abnormal and unacceptable in the eyes of others and vice versa. So. This is why it is so important to ensure that we continue going back to revelation. And imagine Allah Almighty gives us a month of Ramadan in the midst of all the turmoil in order for us to reconnect with revelation and cleanse the system once again to retune and reset our brains, our minds and everything else in a way that is in conformity to what Allah has ordained. Wow, that's why this is the month of goodness, blessings, generosity, and so much of reward. We feel the goodness of the month because Allah calls it the month of the Quran. Revelation, Allah wants you to check what it says and to realign your mind and everything else to what the Quran has said. It has in it the solutions for every problem that you're facing. So if you think you have found solutions that are outside of what Allah has ordained, trust me, long term or short term, you will definitely realize 
that that was not a solution. In fact, it would create bigger and more problems as time passes. Neither do you achieve contentment, nor do you achieve success. And those are the two things everyone's looking for. I'm looking for success. I'm looking for contentment. What does Allah give me? The month of Ramadan. And he says, this is the month of success. You want success, you want peace. You know, salamun, like Allah says in Surah Al-Qadr, when he speaks about the night of decree towards the end of Ramadan, and he speaks about the peace that is within that night, the tranquility. And if you are to adopt the changes that you are supposed to have made, that peace will continue even outside the month of Ramadan. So welcome to this beautiful month of peace, the month of goodness and tranquility. This is Allah Almighty. What is he telling us? He is telling us here is a gift, the best of the months, the month in which I've revealed the Quran. Listen to the verse. شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنُ هُدًى لِلنَّاسِ وَبَيْنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ he tells us the month of Ramadan in which the Quran was revealed. The month of Ramadan in which the Quran was revealed as a guidance for people. And the signs and the signs that Allah Almighty has given us, the criterion, the ability to distinguish between right and wrong. You see, sometimes you grow up in a society and a community that considers something that is permissible taboo or something that is taboo permissible because you have never seen others, because you have never mixed with others, because you haven't learned and you are not yet educated about everything, you probably would imagine that what they're doing is wrong, yet it is not wrong, or vice versa. Your yardstick should be revelation. Allah says, that is the yardstick. Forget about societies, communities, and whatever else is around you when it comes to aligning yourself with what is right and wrong. It's always revelation. Those are the believers. And this is why Allah gives you a month wherein he wants it to be the month of the Quran. Primarily, he says, you fast. Indeed, when we say Ramadan, we say month of fasting. We forget sometimes it's the month of the Quran. Learn its meanings. Go through it. Check it. Understand it. Adopt its meanings. Try to make sure you adjust your life to fit the Quran. Not that you adjust the Quran to let it fit into your life. Important message. And this is why so many things may keep changing as the world begins to, or the world continues to modernize. Being modern and being able to make use of modern technology and so on is a good thing on condition that it does not go beyond the limits of the Almighty. Look at technology. We have so much within our hands, but at the same time, how do we use it? How do we make use of it? You could be using that in a destructive way. And Allah says, hang on, whatever you have and whatever changes you'd like to make in order to facilitate your, 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 your beautiful life, there is no harm on condition that you don't forego what the Almighty has ordained. You don't miss your prayers. You don't forget your level of morality, your values. You don't forget your character and conduct. You don't forget the duties you have unto your maker. What is halal and haram, permissible and impermissible. What is pure and impure according to faith and religion. And you need to understand that doesn't change right up to the end of time. As modern as man becomes still, that peace, that tranquility will only be achieved by adjusting yourself to what Allah has instructed and ordained. So this is a beautiful month of Ramadan. We need to rekindle this flame of the relationship between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and keep it going. At the same time, the whole essence of Ramadan is to achieve taqwa and piety, which means the correct connection with Allah Almighty. If you have that connection, you have achieved. Allah says, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ In order that you achieve taqwa. And taqwa is to create a barrier between you and the wrath of the Almighty in such a way that you obey his commands and you stay away from his prohibitions to the best of your ability. So when Allah says it is the month of the Quran, he expects you to learn it, to look into it, to recite it, to listen to it, to ensure that you're trying to adopt it and to help teach it to others, propagate it. That is the month of the Quran. My brothers, my sisters, we have an amazing month ahead of us, like I said. 
In it, we shall ponder and reflect over whatever we've been through. The idea is to become better people. Here is Allah. He has made us. He sent us onto the earth. Yes, we have a time on earth. He gave us this time to ponder and reflect and he gives it to us often through the year. One of them is through the month of Ramadan. He wants us to soften. He wants us to practice self-restraint. Discipline is required. What else is required? We need to be conscious of time because there is a time for the beginning of the fast, a time for the end of the fast, a time for all the prayers in the middle. There is so much that we need to become conscious of regarding time. Allah wants you to know time to time. You need to do what you have to. Discipline yourself. Don't just eat anything and everything. Don't just do whatever you wish and desire because that's not the way you will achieve contentment. Those who've lost themselves in a way that they do what ever comes to their minds without thinking whether it is pleasing or not to the Almighty, whether it is right or wrong, whether it is moral or immoral, they don't even bother. In the long term, they will not be able to achieve true contentment. They will be fed up of themselves. Allah tells you, you discipline yourself and watch what we do for you. We will grant you the best of this world and the next. And that is the reason why Allah has rules and regulations not to make life difficult for you. No, it might seem like Allah's made this so hard. He knows long term, this is what is going to be of benefit to you. In this world, you will have contentment. You, you may struggle a few days, but through your struggles, you have contentment. You might have lost things, like I said earlier, lots of loss, but you will have contentment. And as much as it may be tough with Allah, things will be made easy. You'll be able to see a little bit of the broader picture and you'll be able to come through in a beautiful way, thanking Allah for everything that he has given. So let's make the most of this beautiful month of Ramadan. Day one goes by with us making a dua. Oh Allah, make this month easy for us. Make it a beautiful success. Make it a means of our entry into Jannah, a means of our forgiveness. And we pray that Allah grant us all the best. Aqulu qawli hadha. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر